On 108, we're going to do problem number 5, number 7, and number 9. So if we look at problem number 5, we're asked if k is greater than 0, solve for x. So assuming this value of k here is greater than zero. In other words, it's a positive number. When we say greater than zero, we mean it's a positive number. So we've got the root of x plus k here equals the root of x plus the root of k. So what we're going to do is square both sides. And this squared will give us this term here. So the left side squared will give us this here. The first times the first gives us x. The last times the last gives us k. The inner is root uh, kx, and the outer is root uh, kx. So they become uh, twice the root of xk. Whether we write kx or kxk doesn't really make any difference. First times the first gives me this. The last times the last gives me that. The inner and outer by foil give me this term here. Now what I do is you can see that the x's cancel and the k's cancel on both sides. So you have 2 root of x k equals 0. If I square this, I get 4 x k here because the root of x k times the root of x k gives me x k. 2 squared gives me 4, 0 squared gives me 0. So I get 4xk is equal to 0. Well, if k is greater than 0, the only thing, if k is a positive number, x has to be 0 in order for this product to be true. So we now have solve for x. x has to be equal to 0. Let me go over that again. 4xk is equal to 0. If x is a positive number, let's say just choose a number. Let's say k is 1. It doesn't have to be an integer, but let's choose 1. So what does x have to be in order that 4xk equals 0? The only value for x that it can be in order to make this equal to 0 is x equal to 0. So let's check the left side of this equation, x plus k, x is 0 plus, uh, a, uh, uh, plus k under the root sign, we have the root of k. We do the right side, root of x, x is 0 plus k root of k, root of k equals the root of k, the left side equals the right side. Um, the next problem is number 7. So find the points on the y-axis, and it says points on the y-axis that are a distance of 5 from the point 3, 5. So just a visualized problem. Let's say this is the point 3, 5. We have to find a point or points along this axis. On the y-axis, x is 0. So if you go 5, x is 5, x is 4, x is 3, x is 2, x is 1, x is 0 right at this point along this line here. So find points on the y-axis that are a distance of 5 from the point 3, 5. So here's 3, 5. The distance between this point and that point should be 5. So first of all, if the point lies on the y-axis, we'll identify it as 0, comma y. And here's the distance formula of x1, y1 equals, and remember the x value along here, uh, along the y-axis is 0. So we're instead of x1, y1, we're going to choose, just substitute this as 0, comma y. And x2 is the other point, which of course is this. 3, 5. So one point is 0, y, y, and the other point is 0, 5. And we're going to plug these in to the distance formula between two points. Here's the distance formula between two points. And the difference in the x's is x2 minus x1, 
3 minus 0, x2 minus x1. We know the distance is 5, so we're just putting the, just replacing the d with 5. The difference in the x's is 3 minus 0, and the distance, difference in the y's is 5 minus y. So we're using the distance formula and putting in 0, y, and 3, 5. So 3 minus 0 gives us uh, squared is 9, and 5 minus y squared gives us this term. We're going to square both terms. This squared is going to give us 25. This under the root sign when we square it is going to give me 9 plus uh, 5 minus y squared. So this uh, negates this or cancels that and we're just left with what's under the root sign. So what we've done essentially is isolate the root and square it. And now it's just a matter of uh, 25 is 25, 9 is 9, 5 minus y times 5 minus y is 5 minus y squared. First times first is going to give me 25. The last times the last is going to give me plus y squared. The inner one is minus 5y. The outer is minus 5y. And when we sum these, we get minus 10y. Notice the 25 and the 25 cancel or sum to 0. So I'm left with 9 minus 10y plus y squared equals 0. Factor this as y minus 9y minus 1. y times y gives me y squared. The inner term is minus y, 9y. The outer one is minus y. We sum minus 9y and minus y, we get the middle term, minus 10y. And the last term is minus 9 times minus 1 um, is 9. So um, we have the points 9, uh, 1. So the points are 0. It's always 0 along the y-axis. And one point is 9 and one point is 1. So there are two values for y. If you look down here, over here, you can see here's the point 3, 5. Here's the point um, uh, 0, 9. It's not perfectly to scale, and here's the point through. So the distance between this and this is 5, and the distance between this and this is 5, if they're both valid. So we're going to check the distance between 0, 9, and 3, 5. So we take the difference in the x's, which is, we can say, is 0 minus 3 here. So 0 minus 3. The difference in the y's is 9 minus 5. So 0 minus 3 is minus 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 5 squared is 4. 4 squared, which is 16. 9 and 16 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. So we've shown that the distance between these two points is 5. Now we're going to look for the distance between uh, 0, 1, and 3, 5. So the distance is the difference in the x's, 0 minus 3. We're going to square that. And the difference in the y's is 1 minus 5. So we do 1 minus 5. So now this term becomes 9. And this term again becomes um, 16. Though it's different from this because this is 9 minus 5 and this is 1 minus 5. But this is minus 4. When we square it, we get 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. So you can see that the distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to here, thus showing that there are two points on the y-axis that um, uh, satisfy the condition that they're equidistant from the point 3, 5, and meaning that there's a distance of uh, 5.
okay, find all the values of x so that the distance between the points x minus 1 and 2 root 5 is the square root of 10. So here we let x1, y1 be 2 comma 5, so we're going to let this be 2 comma 5, and we're going to let this uh, point here, um, x2, y2, equal x minus 1. Here's the generic distance formula, difference in the x's squared plus the difference in the y's. Okay, let's put these in, and now we have x2 minus 2 for the difference in the x, and minus 1 minus 5 for the difference in the y's. Okay, so now when we square this term, we get first times first gives us x squared. We're going to just square this in here so that we can simplify it and get one, uh, three terms under the root sign. So x times x gives us x squared. Minus 2 times minus 2 gives us plus 4. The inner is minus 2x, the outer is minus 2x, that sums to minus 4x, and minus 6 squared here is plus 36. So we add the 4 and the 36 and we get 40, and here we have 2 root 10. So we have still have roots, so we're going to square it, both sides, 2 root 10 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times the root of 10 times the root of 10 is 10, so 4 times 10 is 40. This squared is this, and I'm going to, the 40s cancel, so this will cancel with that, and I'll be left with x squared minus 4x equals 0, factor out the x from both terms, and so I get two solutions, 0 and 4. So now I check the distance between, um, if I go back, I need to go back here, and now I'm really substituting 4 here, and the two values that I'm substituting are 0 and uh, 4. So first of all, I've got 0 minus 1, which is this one here when x is 0, when x is 0, y is minus 1, so I'm choosing the 0, putting it in over there. And the other case is where I'm going to put the 4 in right here, and I have 4 minus 1. So let's choose the first case where this is 0 and this is minus 1, and the other point is 2, 5, and we just use the distance formula. And here the difference in the x's is 0 minus 2 all squared, and the minus 1 minus 5 all squared. This gives us a square root. This gives us 4. This gives us 36. We get 4 plus 36 is 40. Isolate out the 4. Take it out of the root sign. It becomes 2. And we still got the 10 because 40 is 4 times 10. We got 2 root 10. The other case is where now instead of using 0, we use x equal 4 y is the same and this point is the same. Again, we choose the distance formula and um, x2, 4, minus 2 is the difference in the x's and the difference in the y's is minus 1 and minus 5, which is minus 6. Here is 36, this is 4, square root of 40, like this one over here, it's 2 root 10. So, there are two solutions here, x equals 4 and x equals uh, 10. And, excuse me, that completes our uh, discussion on page uh, 108.